Everything Bertram. okay? Imagine saving people, Girl. taking them to your breast, and metaphorically, I mean, like a mother, caring and raising them, and then they go and stab you in the back. Have you ever betrayed a close friend? I hope not. Well. Treachery. And these are sad, low, unlovable people, and I made them stars, dreamers, entertainers, and they... Oh, no, now family's not enough. No, no, he's gone off alone. My little no, tiny magician I... has gone and stabbed his mom on the back. No. Oh, fuck it, he. No, no. Bertram, 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 woof, woof. Bertram, put the nice man down. Do something, he'll eat him. Um. I appreciate it. Sure. There's also the matter of my payment. But we'll deal with that later. All right. All right. A lot of blood loss. And this wound's badly infected. Ah! I'll save as much as I can, but... I'll have to amputate. What? What did you say? Just try to breathe. Uh, I'll give you something for the pain. No. Uh, there ah! you are. And I'll knock him out for a while. You did a good thing bringing him here. But now, I'd recommend moving along. <clears throat> you do not want to see this. Sorry it's come to this. Ah, oh, Jesus. Ask that gal to give me some. Ask that gal to give me some. She says, wait till the taters is done. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. Threw her on the floor and knocked off some. I wish to God I'd passed her by. I wish to God I passed her by. Taters got burnt and so did I. Mm. <laughs> that was that was pretty good. But you know, what song we should be singing? What? Well, look at us. Three Mariner. Ah, of course. Well, we three four mariners who leak up from the seas. We spend our lives. In jeopardy while others live at ease. Shall we go dance this round and round around? Shall we go dance this round and round around? Maiden is a bully boy. Come pledge me on this round and round and round. We care not for the marsh 
special men that do our states disdain, but we care for the merchant men who do our states maintain. To them we dance this round around around, to them we dance this round around around, and he that is a bully boy, come pledge me on this ground of ground of ground. Well, you know, we should not let the folks back at camp think we had too much fun. Indeed not. Jacobites are English lovers, are they? My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here. Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone just the same. Well, in that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this old cabin. A couple of fuckers lazing about outside all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. And he tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was. Shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> and you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. I saw three of them, maybe more, but I reckon you and me, we could take them real easy. All right. What the hell? Let's go check it out. <laughs> them sons of bitches think they're mean? <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. A big scary man, you a rogue. Nice. Is it my birthday all day?
harmonica for you. I look forward to hearing you play it. The only audience I ever had was my husband, and I'm gonna keep it that way. Oh, fair enough. But thank you, Arthur. This is real kind of you. Ah, uh, he ain't that bad. If you say so. Yes. We're running off to Como Driscoll. Of course not. <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> yes, yeah, very, very funny. I saved your life, and now you torture me. Ho, ho. Shut up. What in the world? Arthur, are you seeing this? The feather's naked as a jaybird. Is that why you like this spot? My oh, lord. Hey, There's somebody who needs to go to confession. Sorry, fellas. Didn't see you there. Why don't you take a break? Come on in. The water's wonderful. I reckon we'll leave you to it. Just don't scare all the fish. Oh. Just so you fellers know, there's some real big ones over that way, like this. Well, I better keep the blood pumping. Hope you gents catch something. Yeah? Maybe we'll take a look. Thanks. I know where that is. Well, come on, let's go. Hey, wait up! I'm ready when you are. Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And... a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's not from me. It's from, uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh! He is so... Strange? Well, yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the Dark Ages, or, well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different, but if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful, like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but... My uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are, there's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated, uh. I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't. Uh, well, maybe a bit. But here, if you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. Kid, you got a lot on? Ah. Uh. Just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, have been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well, worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. <laughs> Taylor's dead down there. Must have gone off the cliff. Yep. I think he's from that uh, cabin up the way there. 
should be here in a little bit. Hold tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since horseshoe. But you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. Now, how come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> You really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. And if we're serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Mina? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> All right. I suppose it's worth taking a look at least. We should wait until the morning. In any case, I need to change out of these rags if I'm going to be performing. Okay. So, Bill, this better be worth it. Oh, it is. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good, and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you as good as killed him yourself, and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. <sighs> well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. We got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Come on, boy. The thing is, after that sack, this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Is that the lot of them? I, I think so. Uh, For uh, your life. Allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Look, go get them, Arthur. He sees the world the same as I do. If we have to fight, we fight. If we have to run, we'll run. If we must die, we'll die, but we'll stay free. Big farm when we was when we were kids. Before we lost our ma and pa. Horrible business. Horrible. But we still got each other, ain't that right, honey pie? And we still know how to have a hog killing time. There. 
There, that's for you. Yeah. There. Yeah. Mm. 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 Where are my manners? <laughs> Drinks. Yeah, I could definitely use a drink. <sighs> that stuff will put hair on your chest. Oh, I doubt he needs that. Let's loosen you up some more. Come on, honey. <laughs> ah! Oh, what the hell is that? It's an old Aberdeen home recipe. That one right there is in 1894. Oh, feels like someone's stabbing me in the head. Come on, I thought I had a man here, not a boy. <laughs> one more, and you and I both will go upstairs and have a lie down. Ah, what the hell? Can we go, please? I got a train to catch. Oh, won't you be quiet, you horrible little man? <laughs> One more time, from the top. Sweet mother of... Remember you. Passed through here some time ago, huh? since you were through here. Womanly distraction. I figured that much. But what's the story? Route, number of guards, you know, important details. Just do exactly what I say and you'll be fine, all right? How about we do exactly what Tilly says? I feel a lot safer. Because I've done all the groundwork on this. Next time she brings in a lead of her own, we'll all bow down, I promise. I'll remember you said that. You follow orders, stay alive. Hello, Dutch. It's been a while. <clears throat> sure. So, uh, how's your gang doing? They still believing in you? Better world. Pure world. Hmm? How's that coming along? Just fine. Mm. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? <laughs> oh, I like that. It's like I said, is it? Charismatic leader. 
lot of heat on us this time. Both of us. A whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch, to bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, still might. I am sorry about your brother. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. I liked Annabelle. Don't feel right. I could have told you that. Somewhere no one knows. What? I've turned every stone. Christ's sake, Hosea. After all that, another perfect scam. We underestimated them. No, they underestimated us. Enough talk. There is no point arguing how we got here. This is where we are. And we are going to fix it. So come on. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> 